Get this boulder as far from this place as possible. You have one hour. Your time starts now. Oh, my God. Yes, at the Taskmaster Mansion, I had a massive boulder I wanted moving. Why wouldn't I have a massive boulder I wanted moving? Should we see how Josh and Tim got on? OK. Well, I was thinking helium balloons. That's a good idea. And then it just goes... get a lot of distance. How many helium balloons would we need? <laughs> yeah, we'd need a lot. And I just need to order a cab uh, as quickly as possible to arrive, and then I'll pay for them to drive for an hour west down the M4. Oh, I think this is a good idea. I think once it's up, gather momentum pretty quickly. <laughs> Everybody get it? It's a shame. Man. Do you want to lift the other side and we'll just... just get it up? Yeah. At least get, get it started. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a crunch cream. We need to put the rock on the van. Please, can you help me put the rock on the van? OK. <laughs> OK. Here he is. Thank you. 27 minutes. It's exciting, isn't it? Did you piss around with those balloons? Pissed you... around for about <laughs> half an hour, I think. No, maybe 40 minutes. Once Tim uh, stopped all with the balloons, how far did he get it in your van? Yeah, so once he put it on my van, uh, it went 2.3 miles, which is just ahead of Romish because of the problems with Mo. What I was most impressed with with you, Josh, was that you were totally unfazed and no, never at any point did you consider moving the boulder yourself. No. What, what? It's not criticism. I think you're like a general, letting other people do the work. I hate to say it, but I think I'm probably what makes Britain great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see where it was after an hour. It's, uh, it's in Windsor. <laughs> wow. Ladies and gentlemen, a very clear winner of that task. A brilliant effort by all of our contestants, but the winner, very clearly, Mr Josh Widdicombe. Propel this P the furthest distance. Your P must land and remain on the red carpet. I'll just frighten this. Will the P definitely land on the... Oh, so the P's got a... Well, it's up to you, whatever you think the task is. Your P must land on the... Well, it's going to land on it. Is that... That's on the carpet. Well, that, that'll be on the carpet. There's it? a P in there. Isn't it? That's what it's it doesn't say the P must land on the carpet. The P will be on the carpet. It doesn't say it must make contact with the carpet. You do what you think's right, Rob. Well, if Davies has got a problem with it, I'll knock him out. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a few things to address there. Isn't there? Um, I mean, you're a younger man than me, and you're probably fitter, but if I get one haymaker on you, mate, I... <laughs> Arguably kill you. <laughs> and the second thing is, yeah. don't disrespect me or I'll make you come last. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, we've got Al Murray next. Okay. There. It's landed on. Landed on the carpet. carpet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see how far we can get the P to go? I've got to go as far as I can and back in the next 20 minutes. <laughs> if we can just go up the M4 as far as we can. 1.6 miles now. This is fantastic. Yeah, making a lot of progress. 16 miles. <laughs> there we go. It's just shy of 18 miles. 18 miles? Brilliant. Just on the right. Thanks, Bob. 
I'm gonna check for peas. Probably. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes! It remained on the carpet. Out. It was propelled, right? Did he, he propel it? Al paid for the cap. He paid <laughs> 150 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing watching someone pay £150 to take a pee to slough. <laughs> I can't wait for that taxi driver to be in the pub going, seriously, the pub landlord <laughs> hailed me <laughs> and <laughs> made me drive into slough for pee. Weirdly, I know his niece. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely little detail. <laughs> She's a GP in Croydon. <laughs> I do like Croydon. <laughs> How far did uh, Al propel his pee? 18 miles, exactly wow. 18 miles. 18 miles. Get this camel through the smallest gap. You have 10 minutes, your time starts now. So basically you want me to birth Stuart. <laughs> get this camel. Get this camel. Get this camel through the small. Get this camel through the small. I know what all the words mean, but together <laughs> I find them confusing. <laughs> Mercifully, no one did decide to, uh, I understand, attempt to birth the camel. <laughs> OK, so this is uh, the final attempt Mel Gedroich and a camel. Right. Do it. Red light. Two minutes twenty. Right, I can see the high road. This is good. The shops are there. Brilliant. I've seen it. It's over there. It okay, is tiny. One minute. One minute. Okay, it's absolutely tiny. Yes! Yes! Here we go? Yes, let's go back. Brilliant. <laughs> well, I've got to ask a question. Is there a smaller gap than Baby Gap? Nope. <laughs> Baby Gap's the smallest in the brand. And therefore, she took the camel through the smallest gap possible. Yes, and the security cameras will have... Recorded Mel Gedroich running in with the camel and running out again. <laughs> well, I've got to say, I thought it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make Mel the winner. Okay. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Get this sheet of blue roll as far from here as possible. Only this sheet of blue roll may touch the ground. The blue roll must not break at any point. And the blue roll inner tube must stay on the loo roll holder at all times. I've got banana everywhere. I'll give you a sec, sorry. You have 20 minutes. I just need to read that again. Yeah, absolutely. All right. There's a task in there for you. Is there? Did you see it? <laughs> I can't find a task. No, I can see that. We printed it on paper. If it was on there, I've just used it. Oh, did you really? <laughs> yeah, it was on there, yeah. It might be in the toilet. Oh, no, it's uh, luckily, cos I just didn't want to flush the chain. I just threw it on the thing. How long do you think a roll of loo roll is? Good question. Thank you. Lee, I'm just going to reattach the original sheet, then I'll start the clock. Right, OK. Please don't break it again. Yeah, I should have probably spotted that, but what I tend to do is... Use toilet paper rather than read it awkward. Read it first. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. I just crack on, mm. use the toilet paper, get, get on with my day. Yeah. All right. Ooh, hello. <laughs> you could use that as a loo roll holder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Genuinely, Lee had some banana from the banana task yep. stuck on his, on his helmet. So he went in there, <laughs> cleaned off the banana with the task. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what struck me instantly is that there were four people getting stuck into Taskmaster, the show, and then Lee was uh, taking part in a documentary about a care home. <laughs> <laughs> Just a man confused. <laughs> I've got banana on my helmet. <laughs> Thank God I'm a pig and I don't throw my dirty tissues away. I just throw it on the side. <laughs>
<laughs> she didn't even put it in the bin. No. What's that going to do to you? <laughs> it's, it's rising. It's rising. It's rising. It's rising. It's yeah. OK, next up are Lee and Jamali. It says, the loo roll inner tube must stay on the loo roll holder. So why don't we get the loo roll holder off, off there? Do you have a screwdriver? Phillips or a uh, flathead? Let me get a flathead. I, I should have no problem handling a cab with this. What's that? A oh, weight. The, a little rock? Yeah. Hello. That's a very odd request, but I'm making a television programme. Can I give you that just to put on your passenger seat? And just drive away with it. You can have it. <laughs> Thank you. Go as far as you can for 20 minutes. Don't take it off the loo roll holder. <laughs> you done? Um, how long time have I got left? You've got 11 minutes. There you go. See you I'll just have a cup of tea now, yeah. Right. Is that further? Nowhere near. Actually, what am I... <sighs> I can just go there myself. <laughs> See your time up, Jamali. OK. Where's the new roll? It's where, somewhere down there. Like, I got far and then I just kind of got bored, so I come back. Will I be able to find it? Yeah. Keep it going straight and there's, like, a water fountain next to that. A water fountain? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, like a little drinking fountain. Oh, so it's functional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. Lovely. <laughs> Some of the technique by both men. Thanks, QT. Differently. Jamali, I'm going to put it to you. I think you really enjoyed that task. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed, honestly, like, uh, being in that house for so long, you kind of just want to start ripping shit off the walls. Sweet technique. <laughs> yeah. Worked a treat, I imagine. Yes. How far away did he get it? Well, 60 giraffes lying end to end, 363 metres. Good. Lee, um, same technique, rip it off the wall. Very clever. What I enjoyed about it was I think that that woman was genuinely frightened of you. There was, um, <laughs> there was a moment when I was close to saying, can I get in? Yeah. And as I was about to say it, I That's... looked in her eyes and I thought, she's, she's going to say no. You didn't get the opportunity to look into her eyes because the last three things she said to her, she was pretending you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I don't know the result, but my concern is that she lives, like, very close to the Taskmaster house. Her name is Rebecca. She wasn't happy, but she was happy to be involved. She wasn't happy at first because she didn't recognise you and then she did, but she was confused. Right. She drove to Kew. Uh, which is three miles away. Wow. But the loo roll had to remain on the loo roll holder at all times, or else the attempt would be null and void. I've actually put together a little video to show you the kind of thing that could cause an instant disqualification. It says the loo roll inner tube must stay on the loo roll holder. So why don't we get the loo roll holder off? Because it probably unscrews and then I can go further. <laughs> You've got 19 and a half minutes. No. Oh, my You've God. You've got to be kidding me. I did say one thing. In the break, I looked at Lee and I went, you know, I thought I really won that one. And, and Lee just said, yeah, but the thing is, you don't know what they're going to spring on you. <laughs> <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>